Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 8 of the video series on Postgres with RibMGR High Availability Cluster Lab Setup. Today we are going to test the readiness of Postgres HA proxy and cable MD configurations for production. This test is essential to minimize the problems we might have when this setup is put into production. Before we are getting started, if you are new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. The information and links I'm going to cover in this video are listed in the description below. With all that being said, let's jump right in. We are going to test the readiness of three components, Postgres, HA proxy, and Cable IVD configurations for production. This test is essential ensuring that these components are properly configured and functioning. That's critical for maintaining the stability and performance of our system. We'll start with Postgres, we will try to perform switchover to promote one of secondaries to become a new primary. Then we will move to the HA proxy and make sure that HA proxy capable to identify the new primary and also capable to forward the connection for read write for the new primary. Then we will move to the keep alive D and try to identify where is the keep alive D master node. Then we will try to stop HA proxy service there. Then we'll see if the keep alive D capable to fail over the virtual IB to one of the backup nodes where is the HA proxy is healthy there and try to promote one of them to become a new master. Once we have these scenarios succeeded that means the configuration are correct and we can go for production now let's move to the virtual box manager I'm using VirtualBox Manager. I have already created Windows 10 virtual machine and joined it to the BGNAT as we can see here. The BGNAT already added to the three nodes as we can see here as well. Second node and third node as well. So all the virtual machines are able to communicate because they are sharing the same NAT network. Beside that, we are going to check the reachability between Windows 10 and Linux operating systems or Linux servers once we have the Windows 10 VM running. So let's select Windows 10 and hit the start icon here. Let's wait until this VM start. I'm inside Windows 10 VM. Let's click on this icon which is Windows Terminal. Let me maximize. Clear the screen. I will use SSH. I will connect to the first node which is SSH admin at 101010. Click enter and Pass the password, clear the screen, please the font size, and then also try to switch user to the root, clear the screen here. Now, let's move to the second node. Third node will be the same. We are successfully able to connect to the three nodes from the Windows VM. Let me minimize. Now we are going to install the BG admin. I have here the executable file to install or the or you can say the Microsoft installer for BG admin. To get this one, I urge you to visit this link here. I will keep it in the video description. You can click here and proceed with the download. I will not click here because already I have it here. So I'll proceed with the installation. Right click and open. I will install it for all users. Then click yes. Then go with next. Accept. Next, here will give you the path where the BG admin will be installed. Go to the next, next, then click on install. The installation is straightforward. We can see here that the installation completed. We can right now click on finish. Now let's go and search for BG admin from here. Now we'll wait until the BG admin started. We can see here that the BG admin is installed and running successfully. Let me bin it here. I will right click on this one, bin to the taskbar. So I can return back to it once I need. Let me minimize. Before we proceed to the test scenarios, I would like just to summarize the IBs and ports that we are dealing with in this lab. So the first and second and third node, they have the same subnet ends with 10 for the first node, 11 with the second node, and 12 for the third node. The virtual IB, this IB is created using the cable live D service. This IB we will use it to connect to Boston we have here a couple of ports the first one which is 7000 this one important for HA proxy statistics will give, give us a status for back end and front ends the 5000 this is front end read write this will route the connection for us to the primary server for Postgres the HA proxy front end read only 
this port if we connect to it we will reach one of the replicas that have read only that means using this port we will be able only to connect with secondaries postgres port this is the default port for postgres usually we will use this one for the application if we want to connect and this ib also so if we if we want to go with production and give it to the application you need to give the web for the application and this port for read write i will switch back to the terminal to be able to use the bg admin we need to create postgres user and also add a database for this user so to do that we need to create user to do the, to do so we need to switch to postgres and then you need to create like this create user and then dash s dash p to promote a password then test um yeah test user like this and then hit enter i have already created this one and then you need to create a database and then like test db and then create with dash o and give it test user like this to be the owner i have already done this one i will not create it again then you need to go to the uz one and then bg data b data and then bg underscore hba which is host based authentication file i will cat it you need to add the type which is host the database which is test db and the user will be test user and then the address will be the same subnet and you need to add the method because we passed the password you need to have a password with this type or method and then once you have this one you need to copy the same file which is this one you need to copy it using scp to the other nodes using the scp and then ol which is two and then the same location because we have the same location for all nodes like this and then hit enter and the same for for the third node as well nice now we need to restart the service on three nodes or reload the service on three nodes sudo uh, system ctl reload and then postgres like this hit enter and do the same practice on the other nodes here and the same as well here once we finish this one now we need to try to connect using the bg admin let me just add here a new server let's call it here bg underscore test underscore read write because i will connect to the read write back end on HA proxy. here i will give the ip address i will use the web here which is 20 the port will be 5000 the postgres will be test db and the username will be test user like this and here will be the password let's save and test if we are able to connect yeah we are able to reach the database so that means we are authenticated successfully let's move here again and try to add for read only and to connect to read only we'll use also the web then 220 and the back end for the read only 5001 the database will be test db and username test user and the password of course and save let's see if we are able to reach the yeah we can see here we are able to read the read only back end as well now we need to perform the first test which is switch over using cryptmgr but before we proceed we need to just check a couple of things before we proceed first we need to check the ha proxy stats server to, to identify which is the read write back end node and which is the read only back end nodes you can see here that the first node is read write that indicates that this node is primary the back end for read only indicates that the second node and third node are secondaries or we can say they are in standby mode let's see the other ha proxy nodes we have the ha proxy on the second node you can see they have we have the same indication and the same for the third node that means all three nodes have the same configuration and they are capable to identify which is the read write and which is the read only i am here on bg admin we need to run the query tool i'm connected to the read right i need to run this query this will select the ib address this will indicate which which ib address i'm connected to if i run it like this i'm connected to the first node means i'm connected to the read write which is the primary let's run the query tool here and see the result as well let's run it here you can see the read only i'm connected to the second node which is the read only backend that means everything is fine and configured correctly what happens if we switch over and make the second node become the new primary let's see i will switch to the terminal i will go to the second node try to switch the user to postgres then i want to run rib mgr to try to switch over then we need to run this command try to promote this server to become or switch this server to become the new primary but let's give it a dry run first before 
you can see here that the prerequisites for executing standby switchover are met that means we are now able to switch let's remove the drive and and perform the switch over we can see here that the standby switchover has has completed successfully and here we can see also the first node now demoted to standby and the second node now become the new primary let's back again to the firefox and see the ha proxy you can see here that the second node become right now read write which indicates this become a new primary regarding the back end read only we can see that the first node and third node are right now standby servers let's see the other ha proxy nodes yeah, we can see that the same result on them as well. Let's move to the BG admin. Let's run this one again. Continue. We can see here that right now the read only moved to the 12 because the second node now become primary. Let's check here and see. Continue. You can see here that the new primary for read write become the second node which ends with 11. That means the configuration for the HA proxy and RIPMGR and Postgres will configured and there is no issue. We will be testing the Keep Alive D configuration in this chapter of the video to ensure that the Keep Alive D service can determine whether HA proxy is operational and available on the master Keep Alive D server. If not, it will fail over the virtual IP to the front Keep Alive D backup server where the HA proxy is available there. I have prepared a bash script to help me check the home lab networks reachability let's go through the script quickly and briefly the main purpose of the script is to check the reachability of postgres and ha proxy servers i have here two arrays the first one have the three nodes with different ports the first port here is the default port for postgres the second port here 5000 which is the ha proxy front end will route us to the back end which is the primary server for read write the second port is 5001 will route us to the secondaries of the postgres servers i added as well the vip here which is the virtual ib created by the keep alive d it will route us as well to the default port for postgres ha proxy read or read write uh, backend and the read only backend regarding the ha proxy node I have here three nodes with 7000 so the HA proxy is installed on three nodes that means this uh, port is available on three nodes I need to make sure that they are available if this port is available that means the HA proxy is available there similarly to here I added also the virtual IB the virtual IB will be checked also in this script to make sure that the virtual will be able to reach 7000 which is the stat port for the HA proxy moving forward we have here two functions the first one will check the BG servers and the second one will check check the HA proxy servers I'm using here in the checking the BG is ready for the BG servers this will pass the host name and the port if the status code is zero that means host and port are reachable if not that means they are not reachable here I'm using uh, div slash div slash TCP and then I pass the host name and port if the status code here is zero that means the port and host is reachable otherwise it will be not reachable in the main function i define here two iteration the first iterate is for loop server n and then here i add the array this will iterate the values of the array and check pass it each value to the function and provide me with the result the similarly here to the ha proxy server block code here i here also add the iteration for ha proxy underscore nodes this will give us value by value from the array and pass it to the ha proxy function and provide us with the result as well so that's it for the code let's move to give it a try on terminal so i'm here on terminal let me just switch to postgres like this please see the script i have already copied this script here with name check bg access i have it here so let's run this script we can see here that all the servers and ports are available and reachable so let's test one thing let me just stop the ha proxy on the third node for example the yeah the ol9 bg3 on this node i will stop the ha proxy and run the script again so system ct 
ETL. Stop HA proxy here. That means this the HA proxy will not be available here. So let's run the script again. Let me clear the screen and run the script again. We can see here that some services are not available. I added here we have here a minus or a dash. You see the service is not available. That means the back end for read write on this server is not available. This is not indicate that the Postgre is not available. The back end which route the connection for us is not available. Again, we have here the read only also here not available. We can see here also the uh, the 7000 port not available. From this result, we indicate that the HA proxy is not available on the third node. As we see here, it's not available and the back end for read only not available and the HA proxy stat for the third node so here is not available as well. So let me clear the screen and start the HA proxy here again like this. That start and test the script again to make sure that's everything back again to the normal set. Nice. Now let's check the journal minus U keep alive D. Let's see. We can see here the, the first node is master entering the master state that means sitting the web so that means this is the virtual IP is available on this node to make sure 100 percent that is available here we can run ip dash brief uh, then a you can see here that the web is available here let's check the same uh, the same command on other nodes you can see here that we don't have the web is not assigned here even here it's not also assigned on the third node even on the second node we have it on the first node we can see here that the 20 is now available and we can reach the 7000 this indicates that the master node is available on the first node what if I stop the HA proxy here so let's check the other nodes but let me first here let me just run this comment so let's run journal ctl minus follow u unit keep alive d this will follow the keep alive d log so let's run it here let's run the same here journal ctl minus follow unit if you then keep alive d so let's try to stop the HA proxy here. System CTL stop HA proxy and hit enter. Let's see. Okay, we can see here that this node is enter a master node. Let's make sure here. It's even mas entering master node, sitting web, sending. Okay, nice. So here indicate master receive advert from 11 with higher priority which is the priority is 105 hours at 100 or that's mean that means the second node is higher priority so the ma the master node will be the second node then here enter the backup state that means the third node become the backup the second node is master so let's check here again we can see here that the service is still running and also i'm running here to confirm let me exit from here ib dash pra we can see here that the web is now in the second node to confirm here as well we can see here the web is not assigned here the web i mean by this ib which is configured by the keep alive d so let's run the script again let me switch to postgres and confirm cd script that the first node is not running the HA proxy anymore. You can see here that the first node, which is BG1 5000, is not available, not reachable. The same for this one as well. And we can also indicate this one also not available in regard of HA proxy service. So let me start the HA proxy here and see if it will fail again or not. Let me just clear here and see what will happen behind the scene from the log file. Nice. And now I will start the HA proxy. It should back again to the first node. System CTL because why the first node is higher priority than the second and third you can control this one from the configuration file by adding the way that you want to identify which the first node will uh, the which the node will need to make it like a master if it's not available which will be the backup to be elected and so on for me system CTL start HA proxy started and let's see what will happen here now this one will enter the backup state why because the first node is higher priority it's 106 hours is 105 means this node which is the second node is lower priority that means the service or the web will back again to the first node let's confirm ib dash pr which is pre a to make sure yeah now we can see that the web back again here confirm we can see that the web right now is not available on the second node make sure here on the third node we can see also the third node is entering also the backup because the priority of the first node is higher now let's uh, check here we don't have the web assigned to the third node so back again to the first 
not. So that's it for Kibble ID. And we have here achieved what we need exactly. So that is PostgreSQL switchover, HA proxy load balancing, and keep alive the virtual IB failover testing. I hope you guys find it informative. Take care, and I will see you all next time.